What's happening today? I am going to show you the three business use cases that 99% miss when using Claude, okay? So these three examples are all tied to specific non-AI use cases that I've used previously. The awesome thing about it is it helped me free up 10 hours of time on a weekly basis. And the way I kind of equate it to is it's kind of like one of those situations where you could use Claude 3 and it's kind of like, you know, with a microscope, you could look down, you could see into it, and it allows us to see invisible things that we did not have the capability to do with the naked human eye. And so essentially, it's basically like a jeweler's loop revealing the intricate details of a diamond. And that's what I equate it to. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ryan Staley. I have helped over 800 chief revenue officers implement my proprietary sales methodologies for some of the biggest companies in the world, like Amazon and Google. On top of it too, I've been working with startups over the last three and a half years. And what I'm gonna share with you today is what I'm helping my private clients implement to rapidly hyperscale humans. And so let's get right into it and I'm gonna get into it and show you the details. So the three core areas that we're gonna to cover today are advanced company research use cases, law and form information extraction, and on top of it, complex data analysis. And we're all using Claude 3. I was blown away when I tested this side by side. Now, the only caveat that I do have that you have to watch out for when using Claude is make sure that you understand if you're not using the API, I believe it's still being trained on the data. So just be careful of that, okay? So let's get into it. Let me start sharing my screen and you'll see exactly what I am talking about. Super simple, easy to implement, and we're gonna get into the details here. So I'm gonna show you one of these in real time so you can have a true understanding of how this process is. So what you're gonna see is I paid for the $20 a month upgraded Claude license. As you can see, we have Opus here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the one in real time that I absolutely love. So this situation alone, if you are in sales or marketing, this is advanced data research for big clients. You can also use this for customers or prospects or other areas. And so let's get into it. So basically what you're gonna see here is I am using a tool called TextBlaze, as you can see. I house my prompt library in here. Now, these prompts that I'm sharing with you today, uh, they are included in my Sales AI Accelerator, which if you want to take advantage, you can click on the link below, trial it for free for 15 days, and on top of it, you get 10 free AI resources. So let me show you this. So here's an example. If I wanted to do research for a big company, this is how I would approach it. So basically it auto populates the prompt. And then what I could do from here is I could put in the name of a company. And what we're doing is this prompt was constructed. So effectively we are looking into the annual report, the 10 K and on top of it too, other details associated with that. We're basically looking at what the CEO is saying in terms of his annual report to the shareholders. And on top of it, we're doing it for NVIDIA. On top of it, 10K is like an earnings report that's released on a quarterly basis. The beautiful thing about it is what this report and this data is gonna give us is the background research we need if we are meeting with these people over at NVIDIA, right? To sell them some product, to market to them. And basically it's giving a one shot, shot single, single shot, snapshot, if you will, right? I'm tongue tangled. I don't know what the hell is going on today. But basically so that you could effectively sell and market them to stuff that's very personally valuable to them. So as you can see here, we went through this and it's got everything from their financials, the strategic initiatives, accelerate the adoption of AI across industries, go figure. Uh, it's got you know the top risk there, critical areas and focus on strategic shifts. So this is one of my favorite use cases that 99% of people do not know Claude 3 does this the best, okay? I've tried it across ChatGPT. I've tried it across Gemini and they missed the mark on it. So this is one of the things that I love on it. You keep going forward too. Uh, what you're gonna see is there's another prompt that I have constructed. And this is basically more around, okay, if we were gonna take this and we are gonna actually meet with them, you can see here what I'm doing is I'm making some minor customizations. And so I said, okay, see above, right? For the solution. And on top of it too, we're meeting with the chief revenue officer and manager of sales. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, I didn't put the solution. I just put see above. Text me about my solution. So let's say the solution is a automated email tool for prospecting. Okay. So what we're doing is we're customizing this. And even though I spell it the wrong way, it's still going to be good. And I customize it so 
what we first did is looked at the company and what they have, right? What's going on in their business? What's important to the CEO? And now what we're doing is we're taking it one step further. And effectively, we're implementing this for prospecting purposes for our hypothetical solution, which is email prospecting tool. And then it also identifies this guide to the chief revenue officer and the manager of sales. And so what it does is it goes through talking points, questions for the chief revenue officer, and then on top of it, questions for the manager of sales, even potential objections. So this is all covered. And as you can see, absolutely freaking amazing that basically you could do this research that would take about a half hour to do manually, probably at 70% of the quality that you're seeing here. Okay, so that's one example. We're gonna get into the next one. So I'm gonna walk you through this. This is just about finished, but I don't care. I am going to go to the next one. And so you don't have to wait and see me build this out. I am gonna work through another example. So this one is designed around looking at, and this is example number two. So for example number two, this is lawn form information extraction, okay? Hyper, hyper critical. I never used to look at research papers or large voluminous docs, if you will. You could do this for a couple of key use cases. One, if someone has a carousel on LinkedIn with amazing content, you can click in the right corner, there's a little like square and you could download it, okay? That's one way you could chat with the doc. You'll also get large PDFs on top of it too. What you're also gonna see here are docs like this, okay? So what this is, is this is basically an AI research paper on a prompt pattern catalog to enhance prompt engineering with ChatGBT. Okay, this is written by Jules White. I can't even pronounce the rest of these names. It's a complete shit show. And if we go through here, um, not to disrespect anybody, this is long, this is complicated. There's a lot of details in here, probably 23 pages in length, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that in and I'll show you the end result. Basically, um, I did this with another paper. This was thousands of people were interviewed, or I should say research writers of paper were interviewed on the future of AI. And so I said, I uploaded this into Claude and I said, identify the top 10 risks cited by the authors with the future of AI. I didn't even say the future of AI. So what it did is it summarized an extremely long doc. Now, the one that I just showed you was another one on prompt. And I said, okay, please extract 10 prompt templates listed in this paper. Okay, so the awesome thing about it is it went through and extracted the prompt templates that this whole paper was written on. So if you're looking into deep research about AI or anything else, and you wanna truly understand the nuances with it, you could leverage this. You could do this with a PDF that's a book. Like I said, you could do it with a carousel from LinkedIn. And on top of it too, you could also do this if you're trying to deconstruct a research paper which is coming out at an incredible rate. Remember, we have gone through four years of innovation, or I should say eight years of innovation in like four months. So this is where this becomes highly valuable. Okay, so what I am gonna show you next is the last but definitely not least, and I love this one. And this use case is, I was blown away when I tested this first ChatGPT data analysis. So Claude 3, did a really good job with its AI in terms of being able to deconstruct this. And so what I'm gonna walk you through is right now, complex data analysis. Complex data analysis is super critical because what it allow you to do is unearth patterns and information that we can't see with the naked eye, all right? And so what you're gonna see here is I uploaded this, as you can see, it was a CSV file, and I'll show you an example of what the file looked like. Basically what I did is I pulled up a prospect list and it had all the different companies name, I enriched it through a tool called Apollo. We could also use Zoom Info or other tools like that. I believe Lemless has these capabilities as well, where effectively you're pulling up a prospect list. So what you're gonna see here, and I know this is hard to see, but it's got everything from the company names, the number of employees, it's got the annual contract value, the lifetime value. So this was effectively exported as a hypothetical file from the CSV, or I should say a CSV exported from the CRM. So sorry about that tongue twister. So this is what the doc was attached here. And I said, okay, please provide a customer analysis of this data file. I de identify my ideal customer profile. Okay, so as you can see here, the amazing thing is you don't have to have a super complex prompt. You could use the file and have it research it. Now, this is where I was really impressed. This happened hyper fast. It said, okay, identify that this, this is what we look at, contract value, employees, numbers, locations, okay? And I'm showing you this, it doesn't need to specifically be for revenue numbers or data specific to sales and marketing. However, that's the field I play in and that's what I help companies with. 
So I wanted to show you a real world example of how you could use this, okay? So on top of it, it identifies ACV, which is annual contract value. For those of you who don't know, it talks about mid-market, enterprise. Um, it also talks about companies that, that fit the best profile, which I thought was great. It gets everything into their revenue, their funding, their number of employees. And so what you're gonna see here is it also identifies the sweet spot, okay? Which I thought was really, really sharp that it identified that. Now, what I do is I take it one step further and I said, okay, Claude, <laughs> what's your recommended go-to-market approach for bootstrap companies with this ICP? So I gave it more context. And why that's critical is because if you're doing this, it'll give you more specific answers to your business or your specific use case, okay? So what you're seeing here is it talks through a specific go-to-market, compelling value prop, created targeted content, leveraging online channels, implement account-based marketing, focus on inbound, leverage partnerships and referrals. So I am not gonna read this whole thing to you, but basically what you're seeing there is a very, very great example of how you could leverage this and how you could really truly use it to effectively identify where the opportunities are across those three areas. So just to kind of summarize this and put this in total, there's three core areas that we looked at, right? We did advanced research, right? How do we get super hyper research just by typing in very simple prompts? Okay, that's number one. Number two, what we did is we looked at how to extract information across very big docs in a hyper quick manner, all right? As you can see, I only asked it one or two questions that were very simple. It pulled out the exact details I was looking for and gave it to me in an easily usable format. And then number three was like, how do we look at data and extract that data, look at patterns and understand that in real time? And so there's so many different use cases within business or within life that you could leverage this for that I wanted to share these three examples from Claude, how it's different from ChatGPT, how it's different from Gemini, and other tools that are out there right now, because one of the things with this new release, Claude is very, very impressive, okay? So I don't want you to miss this. I appreciate you checking this out. If you want the exact prompts that I use, you can see those in my Sales AI Accelerator below. So feel free to check those out. You get a free trial, check it out with the link. You also get 10 free AI resources, prompts, use cases, all these areas. So thanks for checking this video out, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.